All right, so here we are after that amazing intro that you'll be greeted with as soon as you start the game. So here we are, Rome Toad War 2. Now, I've, I've been a big fan of this series. I've played the previous game. I played the hell out of that. Um, Rome Toad War 1. It's a great game. So here we are with 2, 10 years later, I believe. And yeah, so we're going to do a small series on it. We're going to have a go at the campaign, I believe. There is a prologue, which we can do, but I think we'll skip that since we've... Well, I've had some experience, experience with this game. So, I haven't uh, looked at any gameplays yet of this game. I've only hopped into a custom battle to, you know, change graphic settings according to my system specifications. But besides that, I haven't really looked at anything. So, yeah. I've left it as a bit of a surprise. So, yeah. New campaign. Alright. So, I'm not sure what to expect, but I've heard that this game is quite good. So I think we'll start with Rome. There's a bunch of different tribes and kingdoms. Yeah, I'll we'll stick with Rome. Uh, game difficulty. S stick with normal for now. Not sure what these are. These are the different houses of, the, of Rome, I suppose. You can see where they're located on the map. No? Alright, I see. Okay, we'll just stick with uh, the House of Cornella, Corn Cornelia. Looks like it's 272 BC. Alright. Room. Okay, let's, let's give this a go. Hopefully loading screens won't take too long, but we'll see. So yeah, Rome Toad War 2, it's a big game. Um, all these Toad War games. Uh, fairly big, is space-wise. So this game, the hard drive requirement was 35 gig, 35 gig. But I mean, you know, I guess it's a detailed game. So, hmm, we'll see. Big fan of the little facts that you are greeted with at the loading screen. Certainly is taking its time. Right, so um we'll start off with the campaign map. Um how the campaign works you is are at war with the Etruscan League. Well, we've got the campaign map here where we can, you know, organize everything. So here's Rome. There's Rome. As the main administrative centre in a region, the settle I might uh, close those because they're a bit annoying. Okay. So it's Italy. Yeah. So we're fairly, fairly central on this uh, map. Got Carthage over there. Here are the uh, different Rome. You have selected a character belonging to another Roman nations advisor. Um, go turn this off. So, frame rate isn't great, but this game is quite demanding. Okay, so we've got some ships. Alright. So, the treasury, 5,000 in our treasury. Food surplus. Okay. Got a spy. So I believe there's a senate. <coughs> Is there? Okay. See, so these are our allies. Yep. Yeah. Other Romans. Right. So let's hop into Roma. Let's see what we can do. Field of Mars. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Recruit agent. Technology. Okay. 
So, let's see if we can build something. Construct building. Let's have a look at this. Alright, so, it looks like it's loading a web page here. Whenever, whenever you click on uh, buildings and units. So, what does this provide? 500 wealth. Plus 5 growth. Minus food. <laughs> well, surely buildings are good things to build, but um, con convert slash dismantle. So I think we're enemies with Carthage. We may not have declared war with him, but I think we'll attack them later on. That that depends if our other Roman allies don't attack them before we do, but. Hmm. Alright, so these are our only settlements. It's four. But that's only until we attack and capture other settlements, which we'll do later on. Roman city, fishing port. Okay, I see, I see, I see how it works. So we can build that. We can build these, which looks like we can't yet. Looks like it requires something else. Manipular organization. Required technology. Alright. A small army here. Battle. Stardi. Stardi are the kind of the base soldiers, the not as experienced soldiers, but you know. They're decent. General here. Legitus. Oh, alright. Should we go to the next turn? We haven't really done anything. <laughs> Not that I really know how to. Ready for battle. Um, can we move the, these guys somewhere, perhaps? Move them up here. March. All right. So it looks like I can't cross into their borders. Who are these guys? Enemy army. Okay. Um. Looks like they don't have too many troops, so we can At attack them. Command. Yeah. Why not? Awesome. Okay. So we've deployed 480 troops. They've got 260, and they've got Italian spearmen. Skirmishes and the general. So we can auto resolve, which we probably most of the time we don't want to do. So you can see the strength of, of, of our force. So yeah, let's hop in and see. 272 BC. So you can see the deployment. I'm guessing where the yellow. All right. Yeah, big fan of the little f the little facts that pop out and tips. All right. So this is the the uh, deployment stage. And it's asking if I want to wait for the weather to change. But weather seems to be fine right now. A bit foggy. We'll start deployment. Okay, so here we are on the battle map. Got our troops. Skirmishes here. Missiles ready and and now Hastati, I believe. Yep. So, you know, they've got pretty basic shields and armor and weapons. Um, but they do the job at this level, at least. But in the future, of course, you'll get much better troops to work with. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll... So the, the de deployment stage, you can obviously move your guys around however you want. So I think, yeah, we'll have the spearmen attack first. Skirmish for a while and then, um... 
get them to move back and get the husk to start to finish the rest off. So yeah, the skirmishers have limited spears to throw. Have to be careful. Right, so let's move skirmishers up. Have them on run. You can see the enemy here. We've got some spearmen and some spearmen. Um, spearmen are basically anti-cavalry and live infantry, so they're not going to be too good against them. So I'm starting to move up behind them. At speed. Yep, and our general to support them behind up on the side. Alright. So enemy are moving up slowly. Not moving at all. Usually they're probably not gonna they're probably not too confident with this battle. I have I do have a lot of troops against them. Which is what we want. So can we fast forward? Not sure if we want to though. So if I think if I hold space, I can see the range of this, the uh, skirmishes. So obviously they're far, far off. Um. Oh wait. There. Okay. Infantry disappeared for a bit then. So they're f they're pretty close. Let's get our general move up. I just got to be careful that they don't suddenly charge because um these guys won't have a chance in fighting you know hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay, getting close now. Toggle fire at will. Yeah, I'll keep that on. So as soon as they come in range, they'll start. Um, releasing their spears. Alright, here they come. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so they started to throw spears. Oh, okay. Get back. Get back now. Get these guys sick. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. So I've got cavalry charging. The men are wavering. Alright, so <laughs> most of our guys have escaped, but our Astarte should be able to deal with them, and if they need support, these guys can attack, won't be too good. Here we go. They've got flaming spears. How's our general going? It's going all right. Um, ooh, not great. War cry. The men are wavering. Um, our general has fallen. Ooh, we've lost our general. That's not good. Okay, let's charge them. I'm for these guys not to throw their spears because. Will be some friendly fire, but looks like we're winning. Oh, right. Let's get these guys to try and fend off these uh, cavalry. <laughs> okay, let's get our Hastati to finish off these last guys, and that and then that will be it. So the Hastati do carry spears, a uh, very limited amount, so when they get close they throw, throw them to, you know, batter their morale. I don't think I... Yeah, see, One some of them have spears. Used all, ammunition. used all of their ammunition, so that's the end of, the end of their spears. Um, okay, cavalry are charging, they probably won't have a chance. There's, you know, 120 or so of uh, Alhastati left, and only 20, 26 of them. 
getting uh, slaughtered by spears as well. Let's get these guys to stop firing because we don't want them to fire. Although they can fire upon these guys that are coming back from routing. So we've killed their general. Um, nice feature where they put up the shields to actually fend off the uh, incoming projectiles and things. They didn't have that in the old game. <laughs> Still got the shields up. Right. So these guys are... Okay. So we won. So we can either continue or end the battle so we can uh, kill off the remaining routing troops. But we should probably do that when we have cavalry, which we don't. So we lost our general, but I don't think he was a very important general, but hmm. we'll see. Right, continue. Bring us to the... Okay. Should we try and kill these guys, or...? Because these guys are tired, and my men are still... Well, they're tired, but they're not as tired. They're fresh. These guys are fresh as well. Yeah. This is just gonna be boring to watch, but uh, oh, there we go. Put up. All right. Okay. That's a good battle. Okay, so that was an easy battle. Yeah. They were completely outnumbered, so we did well for our first battle, at least. <laughs> Could have done better. But, hmm. So that battle went for six minutes. You can see the results here. <laughs> Alright. Nice animation. Commander. So these guys statistics are displayed here. They're still there. Along with the options but they're to mostly dead. Or loot if you have captured a set. Okay. Right, so it looks like that's going to be it for this episode. Let me know if you want to see more. And yeah, thanks.